so there are all these factors that probably came into it, but at the end they declared, much like judges, um, Ernessa is the darkest. So for a while in sixth grade, I had this interesting situation where I knew I was the darkest kid in sixth grade class and therefore thought I was the ugliest kid in, the in sixth grade. And I started dreaming about, um, I had this kind of fantasy that a girl who was darker than me and more strange than me and poorer than me and had worse hair than I did, although that was really not possible <laughs> back then, <laughs> and um, would come along and then all the sixth graders would stop making fun of me and would start making fun of her. Carter. So, um, that, and so, um, I love to finish. And so, and so, when you talk about, well, where did this character come from? This character is not going to like you. Um, she did kind of come out of that. That was kind of the first piece of her. I wanted a girl who was just more everything than I was. And I, I had this fantasy, had this fantasy, and eventually I switched schools, and life got better, and I discovered a book that you might have heard of called The Color Purple. Um, what was interesting about the book, The Color Purple, versus the movie, which I'd seen a lot at that point, was that in the book of Color Purple, you know, you have, um, if you're not familiar with the story, you have a dark-skinned protagonist named Seely, who is considered very ugly, but then you have her antagonist, or the person that her husband's really in love with, and her name is Sug Avery. And in the movie, Sug Avery's very glamorous. Um, and what was interesting about the book, though, is that Sug Avery, in the book, versus the movie or the stage play, was also dark-skinned. In fact, the reason Mr. wasn't allowed to marry Sug Avery was that she was dark-skinned. And so I just really love, love, love this book because the idea that both um, the protagonist and the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous antagonist could be dark skinned, it was kind of like the first book to say, hey, there's something more to being dark skinned than being this kind of sad, downtrodden character. There's different colors. And so um, I remember reading that book and wanting to read another. I wanted to read another book with a dark-skinned character who had a somewhat um, satisfying ending. And so I waited, <laughs> and I was waiting for this book, and when I was in college, I actually ended up doing my thesis on the color purple about how cool it was that it was a dark-skinned woman with a happy ending, because I read all these books with dark-skinned heroes, and there weren't a lot of dark-skinned heroes with happy endings 